All right, let's get to the second issue of this Miles Morales Spider-Man. So Miles still grinding from the last issue when he cussed out his damn teacher and shit from getting suspended and shit. That's when he got a tap on his damn window. It was from Starlin. She want to know why the fuck is this motherfucker up here ignoring him and shit. He tells her that basically he's going through a lot. So she leaves. He's like, look, you're right. I'm being selfish. I haven't been stepping up for you or Genki in the way I should. or I'm And I'm sorry. Just give me some time to collect my thoughts and I, I'll hit you up tonight, please. She's like, process how you process, but don't think I'm the type just to sit around and wait. She's like, Tiana, okay, I got you. So his ass is like, fuck it. I'm finna get out for a little bit. I'll tell my mom about it later. Hopefully they don't catch it. And he goes out to do his little Spider-Man thing, right? So he goes back to that building where Bumbler was at to try to see what was up with them damn upgrades and shit that he got. Then he saw that there's this person in there running. He's like, hold on, got your ass. So he slings at her ass and then she, uh, somebody grabs that motherfucker. Come to find out, it was Misty Knight. And the, uh, the quick of it is of how, why she's there, a bunch of data centers have been hit the last few weeks, mostly stolen electronics and processors. So since they both there, uh, Spider-Man couldn't resist. He was like, do you want to team up? He said, I work very well with others and the other Spider-Man can totally vouch for me. And it'd be kind of dope to work with another black hero. She's like, my heart's officially melted. You can tag along, but this is a temp gig, dig? Last thing I need is uh, Colin in my ear about adding someone to my payroll. His ass ended up getting a phone call from Genki and shit. And Genki's like, you haven't gotten suspended, but because of you, I've gotten an in-school detention for the next two weeks. The least you can do is tell me what's been eating you up, bro. He's like, look, man, it's just something you wouldn't understand. It's superhero stuff. He said, you're right, man. I, uh, what would I know about superhero stuff? I've only been with you since the jump. I don't know what's with you, dude, but you can figure it out on your own. He said, Genki, I didn't mean And he hung up on his ass. He's like, you good? He said, I'm straight. Just, you know, superhero stuff. So anyway, they head out, right? And before then, he got a text from Tiana talking about some steep, we still good for tonight or not. Nah. And his ass didn't text her back. He was mad as hell because he didn't know that the uh, part of damn investigating was sitting there waiting on the motherfuckers. He's like, this shit boring as fuck. That's when, though, they had something had popped up. You see these thieves and shit going into this building. So he's like, yeah, I'm ready to the motherfucker. Let's get on that motherfucker. They go up in there and everybody already beat the fuck up. He's like, what the fuck? That's when his spidey sense went off. He's like, Misty, look out. It was Scorpion in the upgraded suit. He got the getting on they motherfucking ass. And then they had left it on this little cliffhanger with these motherfuckers talking about some now. Don't go inviting folks to the party. I want the three of us to enjoy this shit. You see the damn thing about the get on his asses. He was fucking their ass up. Tiana mad as hell because she ain't getting no text from him. And that's when she got a text talking about some yeah, I'm right behind you. Turn around. She turned around, but it was a mile. It was this motherfucker. And she got the getting on Tiana ass. She disabled her wings and left her in this alley. She on Genki next. What the fuck?